Hi and I welcome you to this lecture. In this lecture, you will learn about LDAP command line tools. To start with, let's learn about the most important and frequently used LDAP command line tool, LDAP search. It helps us to search and retrieve specific entries in a directory. While executing the command, we have to pass two mandatory arguments. First mandatory argument is hyphen "-b". This is used to mention search based DN. Search operation is performed over this DN. Second mandatory argument is hyphen "-s". This switch is to control scope of your search. If you want to restrict your search to base DN, then enter base. If you want to restrict your search to base DN plus one level, then enter one. If you want to restrict your search to base DN plus all subtrees, then enter sub. Below is sample command for LDAP search. Other than mandatory arguments, I have introduced few more switches that are frequently used during LDAP searches. Let me explain those switches. Hyphen P switch is used to pass port number. Hyphen H is used to pass host name. And hyphen user is used to control maximum number of results. Hyphen V is to pass search filter. And hyphen X will enable simple LDAP authentication. Now let's see a demo on this command. I am going to execute LDAP search for finding a user with UID value as Davis. This is the command we are going to use for this search. Since I am executing this command on my LDAP server itself, no need to pass port number or host name. Also I have entered my own search base. You can enter yours. Notice that we have changed our search filter based on search requirement. On executing this command, we are getting details about the entity with UID is equal to Davis. Now let's search for users with UID is equal to Davis and UID is equal to Sarah. This is the command for search operation. Notice that in search filter, we are using our operator to return both the entries. On executing this command, we are getting entries of both Davis and Sarah. Now let's look into our next command line too. LDAP add. Used to add entries with object classes, attributes and values to the directory. It has one mandatory argument, hyphen f. It's used to mention input file name. This is the sample command for LDAP add. Apart from mandatory argument, you will find few other arguments in the sample command. Let me explain those arguments. Hyphen p is used to mention port number of LDAP server. Hyphen S is for hostname, hyphen D is bind ID of LDAP server you want to make change. If you are not passing password, then you have to pass hyphen W switch, which says that for getting password, there should be a prompt for user input. And hyphen X switch is for enabling simple authentication. Now let's see a demo on this command. Let's complete the sample directory structure we designed earlier. According to our design, we are yet to create groups. Now we have to create c is equal to dev and c is equal to sysadmin as child under each group. I have created this ld file to pass as input to ldap add. This will create four entries, that is two entries under each group. Notice that in each entry, we are adding a an user. For example, we have added Sarah to dev group under o is equal to triple x. Now let's pass this file to ldap add command. Since I'm executing the command in ldap server itself, no need for me to pass host and port. And I have added my bind ID here. You can add your bind ID based on your host name. On executing this command, it asks for password. I'm entering the password I have given while generating encrypted password. Output claims that four entries are added successfully. I am clicking on refresh in directory tree and I can notice that new entries are added. Next command line tool we are going to see is LDAP modify. It's similar to LDAP add in syntax. Only difference is LDAP modify can support LD file which can support multiple operations like add modify delete entities and modify entity RDN. I have already covered the topic on how to write LDF statements that can perform these operations. So we can move on to next command line 2. Now we are going to see about LDAP delete. 
This command is used to remove a leaf entity from directory structure. One only important thing to note about LDAP delete is before deleting any entity, all its child entity should be deleted first. Now let's see a demo on this command. I am going to delete the user Davis from directory information tree. This is the command we are going to execute for this. And we are passing dn of the entity to be deleted as argument to the command. I am hitting enter to execute this. It's asking for password. I am entering the password and it has successfully executed the command. Let's check if user Davis has been deleted from directory structure. I am hitting refresh and we can notice that user Davis has been deleted. With this I am concluding my lecture. I hope now you can use LDAP command line tools to create, maintain and search entities in LDAP server. Thank you and see you again in next lecture.